Welcome the state television company Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. International Ran Ding Award on 15 September on Ran Ding's birthday. Why are the documents of Artsakh citizens not accepted in some embassies? Armenian gravestone in Shabin Karahisar, province of Sebaisa, Vilayat of Western Armenia. The 12th liturgy will be served in the Holy Cross Church of Ahtamar Island. The 46th metro de prison of historical harbour in Western Armenia is a new tourist destination. The right of the people of Artsakh must remain as a primary issue for the Armenian nation and the whole world. On 31st August, the speech of Armenu Isaikian, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, took place. She referred to the 28th session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan. President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, and Chairwoman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Nelly Harutsunyan, discussed ongoing organizational issues related to Summer University, held on 8 September, and the conference dedicated to Goddess Anahit. President Armena Gabrahamian also presented the agenda of scientific conference. In her speech, the speaker Armenu Isaikian also referred to the new 42nd issue of the weekly newspaper of Western Armenia, where a number of important issues are presented related to Armenian history and cultural heritage. On 15 September, International Handing Award awarding ceremony will take place, which will be broadcast live, featuring special musical performances, short videos, and award winner speeches. The evening will simultaneously present the struggle of rights in different parts of the world. The International Randing Prize is awarded to individuals, organizations or groups that inspire struggling spirit and hope, work to create a freer world, free from racism, violence and discrimination, by taking personal risk to change standards and using the language of peace. Artsakh citizens' passports with Court 070 face discrimination in some European embassies. Such an attitude is especially seen in the embassies of Poland, Lithuania, the Czech Republic and Spain, where applications are rejected, citing insecurity and lack of trust based on the statement of the government of Eastern Armenia. Former human rights defender of Artsakh, Geram Stepanian, notes that embassies don't accept passports with code 070, which violates administrative procedures. Artak Begladian, the former human rights defender of the Republic of Artsakh, claims that even if the documents are not satisfactory, they should be accepted and the relevant justification should be provided. In addition, the problem limits the possibilities of legal protection of Artsakh residents, as they are unable to obtain a rejection document. The official position of the Foreign Ministry of Eastern Armenia has not yet been clarified, but there is an obligation to do with this issue and take legislative steps. Ilyas Gizengiol, who conducted research at the construction site, emphasizes that there are Armenian writings on it. According to the inscriptions, the tombstone belongs to an Armenian named Toros Keshishan, who died in 1908. City Sivirik is known as a city where nations of different faiths lived together in the past. This stone sheds light on our city's history. That's why, by sending the tombstone to the community hall, I wanted to keep this clear evidence and take it to the future, he said. Preparations for the liturgy to be held this year in the Armenian Holy Cross Church on Ahtamar Island of Lake Van have begun. The ceremony, which will be attended by thousands of tourists from Eastern Armenia and abroad, will be held for Gayane Gevorkyan, an Armenian resident of Van, in a conversation with Agos Armenian weekly newspaper published in Western Armenia. Invited all Armenians living in Western Armenia and all over the world to attend the ceremony to be held in the church. She also expressed hope that even more people will visit the Holy Cross Church this year. In the excavations of the fortress of the city of Harbert in Western Armenia, 36 meter deep prison was discovered, which can be reached by descending 100 steps. The prison, renovated in recent years, opened in May 2023. Now that prison and other fortresses are attracting a lot of interest among local and foreign visitors. The historical depth of the fort and the restoration process increase the tourist attraction of the region and simulate the flow of visitors. 
For the first time in 44 years, the Independence Day of the Republic of Artsakh was celebrated in Artsakh, completely depopulated. Restoring the right of the people of Artsakh to live in their land and ensuring their freedom and security as well as the restoration of their right to live in dignity in their land is a mandatory condition that requires decisive and coordinated actions. Glory to the Armenians who spared their lives for the independence of the Republic of Artsakh. Their bravery, faith and endurance must continue to guide us on this difficult path. To restore the future of Artsakh and restore the rights of its people, efforts must be continued together as a nation, developing our state and preserving national unity. This was all for today. Goodbye.